tell me when you're ready, and I'll uh, say what I said before. Okay, ready. In chapter 8, section 3, we're talking about markdowns. A markdown is exactly like a percent decrease. So, if we had an item that the regular price or the list price was $40, and the store was having a 30% off sale, then we would say 30% off what? Or 30% off of what? It's not grammatically correct, but we know that the word of means times, don't we? So 30% off means 30% times that list price. So 30% times $40 will give us $12. 30% times $40 would give us the $12. Now, we also know that we could subtract the 12 from 40. 40 minus 12 would give us $28 that we're paying for. We would call that the sale price, wouldn't we? So this is the list price. Sale price is 28, which is 70% of the list. And the markdown is $12, which is 30% of the list. Now, if we put that in our standard grid, we would say it's the list price minus the markdown, which gives us the sale price. So it fits our standard grid. The sale price plus the amount of the markdown totals the list price. The amount we pay for it plus the amount we saved on it equals the amount that it originally was. So if we had a $40 list price and a 30% off sale, the key is getting 100% in the right place, isn't it? So if we say 100% is the list, then 30% is our markdown and 70% is our sale price. Now let's look at another example. If we calculate a series of markdowns, here's a problem in the textbook. It says, Jones TV store paid its supplier $400 for a television. On January 10th, Jones marked the TV up 60% on selling price. As a special promotion, they marked it down 30%, down 20%, no one bought it, so they marked it back up. And what is the selling price on that last day after they mark it up? Well, first of all, they tell us that Jones paid $400 for the TV. This is a combination problem where they're going to make us find the selling price first before we start taking the markdowns. So, if Jones TV paid $400 for that, paid $400 for that TV, and they are marking it up a certain percentage on what? Is it cost or selling price? It's selling price, isn't it? So where does that mean we have to put the 100 percent? Under selling price. That's exactly right. So we have 100 percent on selling price, and they need how much of a markup? 60. 60 percent on selling price. All right. Now let's go ahead and fill everything out. What number would go here? 40 percent. And we try to multiply, and we can't multiply because we don't know the selling price yet. So here we have a top number divided by its corresponding percentage. Here's a portion divided by its matching rate. So 400 divided by 40% would be $1,000. That's our selling price, isn't it? So our original selling price is $1,000. And that would mean our markup would be $600. Now, we really don't need to know anything other than this selling price, do we? They made us figure out the selling price first, and now we're going to do a series of markdowns. So let's look at the first markdown. The first markdown was 30% off. So we have $1,000. 30% of that 1000 would be how much? $300. $300. So, on the sticker they would say, was $1,000, now $700, 30% off. Well, nobody buys the TV for a couple of weeks, so they mark it down again, this time how much? Uh, I think 
it's 20 percent. Is that right? Okay. So the sticker would say, was a thousand, we knocked 30 percent off, then it was 700, and now we're going to knock another 20 percent off of that. And how much is that? 140. That'd be 140 dollars, wouldn't it? So now it's selling for 560 dollars. And no one walks into the store to buy it at 560. So somebody says, well, what the heck? Let's mark it back up a little bit so that when it does sell, we won't lose as much money. So we're going to mark it up 10%. That's a mark up. And so 10% of that would be $56. This time we're going to add it, aren't we? And so the final selling price on that particular date after they did the markdowns and the markup would be $616. Now before we end this segment, let me show you the easiest way to do it if you have a simple calculator. Once we get that $1,000, we're going to knock 30% off, aren't we? So on a simple calculator, we could just say minus 30%. And as soon as we hit the percent key, we should see $700 in our display. Mm -hmm. Now we can just say now punch in minus 20% mm -hmm. and we should see 560 in the display. And now when we mark it up, we're going to add 10%. And when we add, say, plus 10%, as soon as we hit the percent key, we'll see 616. So our answer would be $616.